to teach you how to work with Google Optimize to implement A-B testing on your web pages. So in this video, you will learn how to work with Google Optimize and different sections and how you can actually uh, execute A-B testing for different uh, part of your website, how you can check out the reports and how you will be able to decide on which changes made uh, are actually more like conversion or more traffic or more click depend on your goal so if you didn't already set up google optimize make sure to check out my different video on how to set up google optimize i will uh, put the link in the description so after you set up uh, google optimize you will see this dashboard here you will have to click on create experience and you will see set up results and options here i'm going to work with a b testing uh, which will a able us to check out and see the results of changing uh, like uh, two or three changes on a web page but if you want to check out more sections more changes you have to check out multivariate test which i will cover on my next video so let's call it for example i don't know test two because i have already test one here all right so it will create the test here so it has four section one two three four and then you'll start in the first section you have to add variant if you already know what you want to do it's better to call it uh, actually related uh, to the change that you want to make for example i want to uh, maybe change change cta color all right okay so next i'll have to click on edit it will go to the website that i already set up in google optimize and i will be able to make changes over there all right so this is my website and google optimize is coming up all right so you have bunch of options here actually uh, select each element and you can do this stuff with it for example if i right click on this you will see i can remove it i can edit the text i can edit the html core insert html core and run javascript and for example let's say i remove this and i want it back so i'll go here it says changes you can see the change if i delete this change it will come right back here so don't worry if you uh, did something like that we have some uh, actually options that i told you here i will explain it later you can uh, see the CSS and global JavaScript and you can uh, see the interactive mode if you click on it you will see like the one yet you will see in real time so if I exit and I'll come back to the codes actually uh, I'm in editing area so let's say I have a call to action or CTA here I will select it and I don't want really to be it like read now maybe i want to let's say edit text i want to be capital and read be it read now all right done then if you go further you have the dimension here you have the location if for example i will put five here it will go to right then you have the typography you can change you have the position and the color let's say i want to change the color i will uh, click on the options here maybe i don't know i want it to be maybe i don't know let's say some color yeah like blue okay i already made my change so i want to check whether if this cta gets more click or the one is actually is on my website so let's say uh, let's click on save done 
okay it's saving my results okay so the weight is 50 and 50 so it's total equal and if you for example uh, I don't know make it 70 to 30 so most of the time it will be shown so it won't be fair actually so I'll I'll leave it 50 to 50 that's the change you can change more but I just want to show you this change so next step you have to uh, actually if you click on it you can check out which URL or which page of your website you want to experience and test so I'll leave it that way here next here we have audience targeting if you click on audience targeting actually you have some options here like you want you, you can actually target some uh, user uh, using UTM parameters like uh, a specific campaign or something uh, that you will can actually copy and paste it here May, then you, maybe you want to target based on geographic location and many other options so I don't really want to target anyone here uh, next you can put a description for your team to see uh, if someone else on your team you they want to check out what is this experience about or uh, find out so that's the description part and the measurement and objective it's quite important part you have to choose your objective by objective I mean what you what you want to track is it the number of conversion is it the number of clicks visibility or anything else so uh, because i already changed my cta i just want to see the number of clicks i mean i want to see which of those ctas get more clicks so if you click on add experience object it will show you two objects either you have to choose from the actual list or you can create new by creating new it means you don't have to create new here but let's say I'll choose events I already created an event in Google Tag Manager let's show you the event this is the event that's uh, that's for actually measuring the number of clicks uh, on the CTA we uh, just uh, actually changed and the trigger is let's sh let's show you the trigger the trigger is uh, click class and so it will measure that CTA so I already have that tag or that event that is measuring the number of clicks on that CTA so I will choose that event as the tracking option for my Google optimize so I will I uh, actually choose even category equal and paste it here and done save name I don't know maybe CTA clicks oops clicks all right okay so now our objective is uh, as specified okay last and not least uh, so you have to actually uh, allocate the traffic it means like you want to get the percent uh, hundred percent of percentage of traffic to your experience or not or maybe uh, 50 percent let's let's say uh, for example daily hundred people comes to your website if you put it hundred percent here all of those people will go through this experiment meaning 50% of them go to this CTA and they will see this CTA and 50% will see this CTA but if you change this to 50 or I don't know 60 then only 60 per uh, six because we had 100 number of people so only 60 of them will see this experience meaning 30 people seeing this option and 30 people will see this option so I'll leave it at 100 person all right so we we've done everything and we can click on start 
and will receive email notification if anything happens okay so our experience just launched so we'll go to reporting section and once we got traffic and session going on it will uh, hint us we'll want to show you the reporting section for the uh, actually testing that we created but since it takes time to receive sessions uh, I'll decided to show you another experience that I already uh, created like in September 14 I think and today is October uh, 6 of October so I already uh, choose the best experience and best practice here so this is the the reporting section that you will see it will have the experience session number of sessions number of conversions uh, calculated conversion rate probability to be the best and probability to beat the original so in this actually experience we were uh, actually re um, experiencing conversion rate so that's why it is uh, based on the conversion rate so as you can see this one here is the best one since it had more conversion more conversion rate and uh, but not it's not only about the more conversion because this one got our more conversion rate but these two parameters is the most important thing to decide for Google optimize probability to the best and probability to be the original as you can see most um, it, it has the percentage most uh, more than others so this is how you can create and see the report and after that if you click on it it has the option to end the experience and deploy the changes uh, on your web pages to uh, actually have more effect and better performance so this is how you can create Google optimize A-B testing. This was the A-B testing. We have multivariate testing and redirect testing, which I will cover later. I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe in my YouTube channel and share my video. Thank you for your time.